Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by today. The fact that you choose to take some time out of your day and spend that with me, really, really appreciate you. For new subscribers, I hope that you are enjoying this channel and there's going to be continued fun and shenanigans in 2024 and I hope that you join me there as well. For today, however, yes, I'm going to say this, prepare yourself. We're doing the last cash stuffing of 2023. What? Really? My last cash stuffing? <sighs> Where'd the time go, you guys? I mean, sometimes it seems like the years go so fast and sometimes they don't. Like when you're living presently in the moment, it just doesn't seem like stuff flies by. But when you look in retrospect, it sure seems like it went rather quickly. Either way, I need some money for the last half of the month, so I've got to get it in my binders. Let's get down to it. I have a calculator over here. I have a pen right here. And I have my book, which tells me what goes in each category. So I'm going to put the calculator on top of it. I shouldn't need it a lot. I'm going to need my pen. Today, I have pre-filled the trackers for my variable spending, but not my sinking funds. We'll do those together. Speaking of sinking funds, let's start there. Look at that big wad of cash. This is going to my variable. And part of the reason there's so many in there is um, a bunch of that is going into my purse. And I need very small money for that because I'm doing a lot of group events over the next couple of weeks. And I like to have small money to pay because I don't do Venmo. So lots of reasons. I'm not afraid of tech, but as a, a former banker, I'm not comfortable using them though. So let's see what is going into my sinking funds. $503 today. Or 500, 1, 2, and 3. 503 dollars going into my sinking funds. Yay. Okay. And is this the one I start with? Yes. Travel is the one I start with. And as I said, I'm going to do these um, trackers with you today. So we are going to pop these in here. Travel's getting another 151, and that is finishing it out for the year. All of these are finished out for the year. This is the total of my annual budget that I deposited. I have $2,005 left. I'm going to tell you what I do with that in a later video. But that was not intentional. There was just some travel I had really hoped to be able to take this year that I didn't. And that was the money that I had saved for it. So don't feel sad for me. I got a lot of free cruises, which is why some of this other travel didn't happen. 2005. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 52,000. 2, 3, 4, and 5. 2005. I have some placeholders, but no use doing that now because I'm going to be emptying these in like another, what, 12 days? So good enough. I close out my binder and empty my budgets around the 28th or 29th of the month. My credit card that I use to pay like all my sinking funds and some of my variable, it closes then. So that allows me to, I empty my binders. I can pay back the cash that I need to pay the credit card. And then I can pay the rest of the credit card and then balance everything out. So Pacific Northwest is fully funded. In the year, I ended up with a surplus of one, two, three, four, five, six, fifty, seventy, ninety, one. 50, 70, 91. And this was, again, partly because I had to cut my short my trip a little bit short, which saved me a little money. Generosity of friends letting me camp in their driveways and such saved me some money. And also, I was just really frugal with my budget because I was in my van. Didn't need to spend a lot of extra money. Okay, Cruises is getting its last $26. And that leaves me... $187, which is good because I'm probably going to spend this on parking and the hotel for the last cruise that I'm leaving on this year. So I'm glad to have this. Oops, $26 is going in here. Total of 187. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 80, 95, 205, 6, and oh, I think I miscounted. 
50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 60, 75, 85, 86, and 87. I actually, I think I'm going to have maybe 20 or $30 left in here because I got a really good deal on our room the day before the cruise. My sister and I cruised together. She paid for the parking this time, so I'm going to pay for the room. And I got a really good deal on it. So in my van, it is going to get $50. For a total of $383. This is for fun stuff I might need on the van or trip specific items that I might need. This is going to have some surplus in it, but I am buying a few more things before the end of the year. So 1, 2, 53, 20, 40, 60, 75, 77, 79, 80, 1, 2, and 3. $383. Yippee. Events. This is going to be a category that saves me a lot of money this year. It's also going to be a goal for me next year. I am lowering this budget, but I want to do more events. This is for like off-Broadway productions and that kind of thing. And I just, I don't like to drive downtown, so I rarely go. But I found some people who like to drive downtown and they like to go to these things too. They're going to drive. I'm going to pay for parking. It's going to be a win-win and I'll get to do more of these things because I really do enjoy them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 58, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and 900 dollars. In the meantime, this is going to go a long way in what I'm using this leftover money for this year. I'm building the anticipation, y'all. You're gonna have to watch that video to find out what I'm doing. Okay, and lawn service. It I was originally gonna carry this over, but I, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I go back and forth and back and forth between I'm going to, I'm going to hire someone to mow my lawn or I'm going to keep mowing my lawn. But in any event, I have to pay someone when I'm gone and I travel if I'm going to be gone for an elongated period of time. I am going to close this out at the end of the year. I'll start saving again at the first of the year and that will cover if I do need to hire someone a couple times. I'm going to start the year mowing my lawn and if it's just too much, if it's too hot, I will just give up something else in my low priority sinking funds and have that get done. One, two, 50, 70, 95, and three. I do not feel I can take this out of my regular budget or in or increase my budget in any way. I feel that if I do not want to do my lawn, then I have to pay for that out of money that I would be spending for more fun items for me, right? Because there is just no reason for me to hire someone other than just being a baby and not wanting to deal with the heat. So a miscellaneous large, I don't know why I ever called it that, but this is for home things that come up during the months. I need to order some, no, I don't need to order filters because I've got one left. I do not need to order filters. So there will probably be quite a bit of this left at the end of the year, which is good. 354 will be the total and $56 is going in here. Okay. 1 52 53 10 20 35 45 52 34. $354. Exactly what I should have. Okay, in electronics, I'm putting $27 that should give me $443. I ended up with some extra money in here, and that is fine. All I ended up having to buy this year was my iPad, which I bought at the very first of the year. So, got some extra. 1, 2, 3, 54, 20, 45, 52, 4, 5, and 6. 29, 39, 49, 4, 56. Let's count that again. 1, 2, 3, 54, 20, 45, 50, 2, 4, 5, 6. 4, 56. Yep, that is right. My math on my tracker was wrong. All right. Planners. All of my planners were purchased already this year. I don't think I am going to decide to buy anything else. So this money will all get carried over. I just did really... I got a really good deal on it. I decided to go with a bullet journal for that we placed two of my planners and that bullet journal, I'll have to buy one more next year. That's fine. But it saved me, using that saved me about $50. And then I purchased Creative Fabrica and I'm making my own stickers for it. So fun, fun, fun. 50, 60, 75, 85, 87, 89, 91, 93, 95, 97, 98, and 99. $99 in planners. 
I did really well this year in not overspending on the planners. And I might add, that is not for things like stickers. That is just for the planners. Okay, I'm budgeting supplies. I'm going to turn this over. I'm not going to start a new one because I'm doing them all new at the beginning of the year. Budgeting supplies is getting $12. This one I went through because I used it for my new challenges for next year and new binders. 10, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 34. This also didn't have as much money in it because I started it later in the year. But that's okay. Still got a little bit left in there. Medical. This is for glasses and dentist. So this one will probably be left over. I think I budgeted for three dental cleanings at the beginning of the year because I get it done usually every four to five months. But then the way that the calendar hit, I didn't end up needing three. Plus my teeth were just in better shape. I'm a really good, really, really good with my dental hygiene, but my teeth just grow plaque like crazy. Always have. So it's just how it is. $38 is going into here. 1, 2, 50, 70, 80, 90, 3, 10, 15, 22, 4, 5, and 6. $326 left in my medical. Yay! I love having leftover money in this. My homeowners association, this is going to get paid. I am going to stuff this money in here. And then within the next couple of days, I'm going to contact the HOA and find out what my bill is for next month and I or next year, sorry. And I'm going to write them a check and get it bill or get it mailed off. Because last year they didn't send a bill. And then my first bill, the first thing I ever saw from them was an overdue notice. And I was mad. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 4, 10, 15, 22, 4, 6, 7, 8, 428. That should be what my HOA fees are. They have not notified us of any raise in them, and I believe they have to do that, so I think that'll be enough. And the last is my escrow, and this is going to be the only fund that I'm carrying over in these binders next year. And that is because I collect this for the escrow short. It's partly in this year. It'll be part of next year, but this one gets carried over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 10, 11, 12, and 13. I am not sure I'm going to have an escrow short this year because in Texas they passed a, a property tax relief bill. And I think it saved me $600 a year. And my homeowner's insurance went up $350 a year. So I think I'm going to have a $250 surplus. But you know what? We're just going to wait and make sure that happens. All right. So in my variable, my gas gets stuffed in prop money. 10, 20, 30, 5, 45, 52, 4, and 5. I'm going to leave that right here for when we do it. And for my other money. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 5, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, all right as i said i am i've got a lot of smalls in here I, i'm carrying a lot of different uh money in my purse and i need small bills all right so in my groceries i can just flip here and see what i did 117 oh, let's, let's put this prop up here 20 40 60 80 91, 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. I like to take just the amount of money I think I'm going to need to the grocery store. I always have my credit card if like I'm there and there's something on a great sale and I want to stock up or something. But in the meantime, I just take the little bit of cash that I need with me. So this should now equal 153, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10, 25, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, and 3. And I haven't put it here yet because I didn't have enough money, but I've already spent, I think, like $50 of this. I don't need a lot more stuff this month, so I should be okay. Oops. Again, I've already done these. $20, and I did 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I take this money with me. It's for eating out. And I like to have smalls. 
That way I can just leave the exact change for the waiter plus whatever tip. Waiter or waitress. 5, 10, 15, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30. 30 for eating out. Hobbies. Haven't spent any this month except for $21. I think it was on paper. So what was that? I don't know. See, this is why I could definitely cut back. And what did I put? So I think I just put a 20 in there. 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9. It doesn't matter. I can always make it work in the end. Oh, this is, this is, okay. This is household. That's, I couldn't figure out what I'd spent in hobbies. Okay, this is household hold, so I know I did another 10, 15. You were all screaming at me, weren't you? 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I know I did the small household. I couldn't like hobbies. Why? I didn't. Okay. 10, 25, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. $39 left. That is what I'm supposed to have, right? It is perfect. And I need to buy some paper towels and some hair dye. So that is going to get used. And in my miscellaneous, $40. And 20, 35, and 40. At least I think it's something like that. 20, 35, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. $45 is what's left. Little short trips. Wah, wah. I haven't got to take any. I was hoping to go this week, but now it is going, the weather's going to get bad. So I don't think I'm going this week. I hate tearing down or whatever in the rain. Ugh. Total $80. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80. If I don't do any trips, I will probably use some of this money for the gas when I go for Christmas and stuff. 75, I'm sorry, Hobbies is getting $40. Here we go. I knew I hadn't taken any out this month. 20, 40, 50, 65, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm trying to do a no spend in this this month because I have enough pins. Although I did spend $4 on pins at Ikea, but I took it out of miscellaneous. Oh, well, that can be a freebie for me. And going out is getting $40. And I did a lot of low denominations in this. 10, let me see, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. All right. And now it has another 9, 49. I'm not going to put you through all that. Again, like I said, I am popping almost all of this into my purse and I'm just going to keep it in there for when I am going out and in my cash my walking around money should get 10 20 5 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 86 87 88 89 90 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 100 that also was in a lot of small money I have extra in here because if you remember, my sister paid for some stuff. She gave me cash. It was tolls when we went for Thanksgiving. She gave me cash. I just threw it in here because, you know, I've been taking my savings challenge out of my walking around money for a very long time. So I just did that. I do have a little, like little leftover walking around money I've had throughout the year. I have that in a little separate stash. I just keep it for some emergency cash around the house if I should need it. It's not a lot. But if I have some leftover at the end of the year, that's definitely where it's going to go. And in my gas, I put 55 in here. I did 10, 20, 30, 5, 40, 5, 52, 4, and 5. This is one I might carry over. Well, this is a fund that in a regular year I might carry over because I saved the extra for vehicle registration and oil changes. However, when I bought my van this year, it comes with two years of a registration because it was brand new. So I'm not going to need vehicle registration towards the first of the year. So I probably will not be carrying over much of this. What I probably will do is make sure and go and get a completely full tank of gas before the end of the year, fill it up, and I have one more free oil change. So I think I'm going to be fine to empty this out. 51, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 2, 5, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, and 20. I, of course, will carry up 
or empty out all the cash at the end of the year. But we know that that goes into my low priority sinking funds. Okay, look, that is it. That is all my cash stuffing for 2024. I am done. But what fun it's going to be to empty these out together and have me finally reveal what I'm doing with the money. Until the next one, folks. Bye.